Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews and Up. And today I'm going to show you how to run a VPN service on your home or business. This is more for a home use because I don't have the hardware to show you how to run it on a router. However, this is going to show you how to do it on each device as far as a computer. I'm not going to get into Androids and whatnot because it's pretty much the same. But, um... One thing that you want to keep in mind is if you have a router and um, you feel that your router is secure as far as no foreign body is going to go into the router and, and look at the packages, anything that comes through as far as your your passwords, your pictures and whatnot comes to and from the internet, it's called a data package and as long as you're not worried about someone that, that shouldn't be on the router that is on the router, you shouldn't be worried about them looking at data packages, so you shouldn't be worried about them seeing your passwords and whatnot. Uh, as you may guess, one of the biggest advantages to a VPN is security, and where I'm about to go back to school and um, be using their public Wi-Fi routers, I um, I, I got the VPN, so I, I, I know my passwords and stuff is secure, because I, you know, I, I don't want to have you know, my, my email and whatnot out there to the world. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you do have something like Keylogger or something else on the computer, then the person can still get their passwords and whatnot. So keep an eye out for any spyware, keyloggers, uh, remote access, you know, something like that. Remote access shouldn't really be a problem since um, your IP should be showing up something else. And um, that's that's another thing. Now, where I personally have a dynamic DNS on my system, since I got a dynamic IP, I use my own computer for a, the dynamic DNS. And that's important to note because if you do the same thing, then during the time that you're using VPN on your one device, your the dynamic DNS is completely useless. So just keep that in mind. And personally, what I do is I just have the VPN on when I'm working. And uh, when I feel okay, I leave the dynamic DNS stuff on. And uh, that way, th that can be done. Um, but for the most part, I just deal with the VPN. Now, as far as things goes, pick whatever service that you want. I'm picking this one because it's secure and it's fast. And that's the big things I'm looking for. Once you get it, you need to go all the way down, all the way down to here, and um, download whatever. If you got a uh, router, again, I'm not going to show you that because your how do you know if your router can run a VPN? Your router will actually do one of two things. One, it can be a preset like these, and um, I advise you taking a look at that, but the more important it will have something like a VPN and then user login and so on and so on so as that now that's important to note because what happens is if you have that then what happens is you you can really have it where your um, you know entire home network is secure but again I don't have the hardware but once you download it, what happens is you go through an installer real quick. I'm not really going to show you that because it's like a normal installer. Then you'll get this. You need to go to settings, log in, and you'll see a simple settings. And just go to advanced. Don't select port 40 unless you want to have your stuff sit, sitting on um, Germany and some other stuff. I forgot which ones. But it, there is an actual list of... of where it would be. VPN kill switch means if the VPN goes away, the entire internet is disconnected. Um, DNS leak protection is something good. And um, that leak protection, IPv6, is also good to keep on. But the VPN kill switch, that's up to you. I'm, again, if you're using a dynamic, I, I'll leave that off. But for any other case, why not? Um, Maybe if you have a remote access, I, I mean, it, not too many reasons why you shouldn't have that. Um, 
But as far as things goes, your local port, I mean, all this doesn't matter. I mean, it's up to you. But anyways, as far as everything else goes, let's look at this. Now, one of the advantages to having a VPN, obviously, as you may know, is you can make it look like you're somewhere else. So as many of you know, I'm in the United States. And iPlayer, BBC iPlayer, you can't use it unless you're in the UK. I think, I don't know this for 100% fact, because I never lived in the UK. I always want to visit, but the uh, I think the UK taxes pay for BBC, and they figure since you pay for it anyways, you should get it. But since we in the United States don't, we don't get it. So I think that's why. And, and by the way, this might be illegal. I'm just doing this for educational purposes, not saying that I actually do this on a regular basis or whatnot. But um, a lot of people trick their systems to think that they're somewhere else because if, they're, if their country is going to war or something like that or something's going down one of the first things that happens is the country actually blocks uh, social media and some other stuff and that way no one knows what's going on until it's too late it's like for example if you had a kitchen fire your next year neighbor most likely won't know what happened what's going on until you tell them and most likely their next door neighbors that your next door neighbor's next door neighbor won't know anything until it's too late and um that's pretty much the best example i can give is is without the vpn you would know when it's too late and v the vpn will allow the, you to tell your next door neighbor's next door neighbor what's going on so you can get help very quickly tell them bring the buckets and whatnot and put out the fire and for for uh, wars you can figure out what, what that means. Now, as far as things go, so let's uh, save this. And let's connect it. Uh, let's connect it to the UK. And uh, particularly, it doesn't matter since it's either. And give it a second or two. You might have to OK it on your firewall and stuff, and you should. But give it a second or two, and, and it looks like it is connected. Yep, and my dynamic DNS is quite cool. useless now. At least when it updates. And now we don't have that warning message. Play it for a couple seconds. So, so without getting a copyright content ID, um, that's as much I'm going to show. But it shows that it works. Now it thinks that we're in London, or at least in the UK. Let's disconnect it real quick. Make sure that's disconnected. Refresh this page. And now it thinks that we're pretty much speed of light because we're in somewhere else than London. So that's that's important to note. This has been Craig Bennett, the founder and owner of Tech Feeds Nope. And I might make an again, I might make another video in the future on how to make your router capable for a VPN. There's ways to hack a router. Mine is old, and while it is very secure, and besides the fact of it being old and whatnot, I I don't really need to change it out. So it might be a while for me to make that video, but um, as far as the Android stuff like that, I might actually make that video quickly, and uh, let you guys know if if it's harder than it might look. So anyway, this has been Craig Bennett, founder and owner of TechViews and Up, and this has been how to make a VPN work, a paid VPN work on your computers and whatnot. And if you've got any questions on this service or anything else, then feel free to leave them in, in the comment section below. Or if you have questions on how VPN works, and I'll try to answer that in a, another video if there's enough demand for it. But anyways, um, if, if uh, you like this video and it helped you please like please subscribe and please share and please visit techreviewsandhelp.com and hope you have a great day